Good evening everybody and welcome to our Facebook Live this evening. My name is Jenny McCormack, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's been another glorious day here um, in a central part of the UK. A uh, bit of sunshine, bit of blue sky, nice and warm but not too hot which is a perfect combination especially when you've got to work so um, all week we have been using a um, floral stamp set but I thought we'd have a slight change this evening from um, the other ones during the week which was oh goodness me I can't even think of the name of the stamp set. No, oh, it's completely gone. Sorry. <laughs> it's because it's all in my bag ready. That's why. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Carol. So, right, let's get this um, live uh, up and running. Oh, there we sky. go. Sorry. Okay. So, we're going to be using the biggest wish today. It's a really nice, as you can see, bold and bright stamp set. It has fine five main sentiments. One is in big block capitals and one is in lowercase um, sort of handwriting. It's not really italic, it's just sort of a handwritten one. You can combine the two or you can just um, use one type. And obviously you've got thanks, you've got birthday, so you've got happy birthday. You can have hello friend or thanks friend. Hello birthday, I suppose you could have. Um, and a couple of little crosses here for dotting around. But what I want to show you is an old technique. Well, I say old. This technique came out really when we had and launched the Stamparatus. So this is our stamp positioning tool. And if you have any problems stamping, um, usually in terms of dexterity or getting the pressure correct, then the Stamparatus overcomes that because what happens is it holds your piece of card down, for example, here with these little magnets. You can stamp your sentiment here in the middle and then if you find it hasn't stamped properly when you lift this back up again you can re-ink it hi jane oh twice in one week jane um, you can re-ink it place it down and press it again so it makes for a really quick and simple card what we're actually going to do is I'm going to stamp happy birthday three times um, down in the sheet. I'm hoping it's going to fit. I think it will fit. Um, if not, I'll just have a, be a bigger piece of card. Um, so let me just show you the principle of the Stamparatus and then I'll stamp a card. So if I take the happy birthday and I'll take the two large ones now because these are solid stamps you really do need a good um, impression because they're um, solid the way that they're built so I'm just going to pop this one roughly in the middle just so that you can see how this would work so um, and obviously if you've got a Stamparatus or you've used a Stamparatus or something similar there are other stamping position tools out on the market um, then you'll be familiar with this technique so all I want to do to start with is just stamp a good happy birthday so I'm bringing the plate over pressing it down to pick up the stamp that might also lift up the card underneath which it does because I know the stamp is sticky and um, the magnets I've covered with some um, duct tape because they have they're very strong magnets 
um, and they do have a habit of um, clicking together so I'm just going to put literally keep these fairly far apart let's just see if I've got them <laughs> I knew I'd move that quite dramatically let's have a look see hi Babsy and hi Karen okay that that's perfect um, I just want to show you the principles for anybody who hasn't seen it. I don't know, Katie, whether you've seen the Stamparatus um, or not. Okay, so all I'm going to do is ink this up. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit. Pop a block underneath here to keep it nice and flat. And I happen to have early espresso to hand, so that's what I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is just to show you how effective it is, I'm not going to ink it up completely. And I'm just going to press it down and stamp it like so. <laughs> it's attaching itself to my card, which is not, not really going to help it, is it? This might not work. Let me just see if that's in the right place. I can see actually the stamp is particularly um, sticky. Well, it's not actually far off, but what I am going to do is turn it over because um, I want to put the magnets a bit further over so that it holds more of the... Um, Maybe do it this way. Holds more of the card down when I lift it up. I've lost the plot, everybody. Okay. This is why you need to revisit these techniques because. You forget. Right okay that will do so what i want to show you is i'm going to half stamp this and then i'm going to um correct it <laughs> oh dear there we go that's better i'm trying to make it look that's better okay so it's got bits and pieces on there it's not particularly um hasn't come out particularly well so i am just going to clean it So leaving the stamp in place on my um, plate, just going to dry it and then re-ink this again and then stamp it. I can see a hair. on there on the A oh, happy birthday okay that looks better so now I can stamp it again knowing that neither the paper nor the stamp has moved and now I've got a perfect detailed um, crisp happy birthday on my card like so okay as opposed to one that was not particularly not looking particularly strong okay so one of the things we can do because this plate is hinged is we can move this down and stamp multiple images so that's what I'm going to do for our card today let me just wipe this down. Hi, Carol. Hope you've had a good day. I know you're out and about yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this in three different colors. So I've got another piece of card. And what I'm going to do with this one is position it so that my first happy birthday is right at the top of here 
and then I'll just pop that on there I'm going to lift this up move it down and then stamp it again and then do the same thing okay so I just want to make sure that this is roughly at the top of my paper I've got a little bit to play with because I'm going to cut this up and place it onto a note card so I want it fairly close to the top um, so shout me three colours ladies um, that I can stamp with so I'm just going to put this one up here this one can go down here and I've got enough space there oh it's been wet for you Carol oh my goodness I wonder if that's headed our way then okay so shout me three colours if you would because I'm going to stamp three different ones blue red and black says Karen so let's see I've got Knight of Navy real red and memento for black oh purple red blue so I might do it I could do a couple so I'm going with Karen's first of all blue red and black so this is great for people that for example follow a football team or a rugby team or a soccer team where you have particular colours it could also be where somebody has favourite colours so this is Knight of Navy so I'm going to start with that so I'm going to ink up hi Lynn thanks for joining us hope that's in sight it's just about in sight isn't it I can see a tiny piece of something on there just going to ink that back up okay so I've got Knight of Navy here so we're doing some hinge stamping or step stamping whatever you would like to call it okay so here's my first one positioning that at the top oh polished pink Bermuda Bay and black sounds nice doesn't it okay so just impressing that down so that is Knight of Navy it wants to move a little bit there we go so what I'm going to do now is just wipe the navy off and dry it so I'm just using a muslin cloth for that then I'm going to take my real red so I'm going to leave this in position I will move my magnets round oh gosh that's well inked might be too well inked I've obviously refilled that recently so I'm going to move my magnet one here and one here and I'm going to move this one peg down okay and if I bring that over you'll see that that is going to sit on there now that really is a bit too inky for my liking so let me just wipe that because if it's too inky it will just um, spread onto the card so what I'm going to do to overcome that is I'm going to take my red ink pad and I'm going to move some of the ink from one side to the other um, do it with a block so what I'm going to do is move this ink down like so 
I don't know if you can see the difference in light. Mm, I don't think you can. I can see it's quite um, different. I've also over inked this. Okay, so I'm just moving the ink down to the bottom. I'm going to put that to one side. So I can ink up with this top part of the ink pad. And hopefully that will be better. I can see that's better already. So if you, I don't know whether you can tell the difference between this one and the previous one. Okay, so I've stepped this down. Now I'm going to place this, press it down. So this is real red. Like so. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a gap missing here. Can see there's a tiny hair on there again. Let's lift that out of the way. And just re-ink that little bit. go and that will cover up that little gap there we go that's perfect and then I'm going to clean that off and then do our other color which was um, Karen's choice of black just going to lift that up a little bit So it's a it's a really useful technique. You can hand stamp this absolutely. There's no trouble to do that. It's quite easy to line up, but this will make life even easier, especially if you miss a little bit or when you stamp it's you know not quite stamped. Okay, make sure I haven't got any hairs on those. And then we had black as our other colour. So let me put this away. One, two, three. So this is known as hinge stamping or step stamping because you're stepping it down. This is um, memento black. So I'm going to ink this up. No, there's not much ink on this one. I might need to do it twice so I'm just going to lift it one drop it down and you can see I've got little bits of ink here and there that won't matter because I'm not going to press down the plate in those places so this is our black and I'm pretty sure I'll have to do this a second time there's a few little blotches only because I know there's not much ink in here this is also a different type of ink there we go there we are so that the the main thing is that neither the um, card nor the stamp has moved in between each of those stamping other than where I've stepped it down so there you've got three lots of happy birthday perfectly stamped perfectly lined up and it just happens to be that the height of the stamp um, with a little border is the same distance as these two here so let me wipe that and the top you can try we'll try a different combination in fact what okay I think what we'll do is I'll stamp it in a lighter color and then stamp um, happy birthday with the script one on top so there's our first background so I'm going to trim that down for our card let's grab another one and pop this back up to the top 
and obviously this could be any any stamp so i've used the happy birthday but this could be images it could be a border stamp um it could be whatever you want it to be so let's bring this back in line thank you i can just see the hearts moving in the corner of my eye okay if you if you were doing a lot of these what i would do is um position the card first and then put the stamp on the card so you knew it was in the right position okay so what I'm going to do is do these in a light color so I'm wondering if I did light pink and then polished pink on top let's give it a go so I've got petal pink going to make petal pink my backing and then polished pink on top may or may not work but we'll give it a go okay just going to put that up there out of the way make sure that's nice and dry check for any comments see how we're all doing okay I think I'm up to date on comments. So this is um, Petal Pink. So I'm going to ink this up. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a bit close, isn't it, there? Bring this down out of the way. Okay, so I've got Happy Birthday. Sorry, my fingers are so dirty. I've been crafting all afternoon. There we go. I had a feeling there was something on there. I think I need to next time use a absolutely clean linen cloth because I think I'm transferring as much as I'm taking off here. Yeah? Let's see if that helps it. There we go. It's a bit deep, isn't it? But let's work with it. So moving this down one, re-inking, so I don't have to clean this in between because I'm using the same colour ink. There we go. then one more this is a very odd colored petal pink I think it's been contaminated with something never mind let's give it a go so there's our three and then what I'm going to do is put the other little scripty happy birthday on top there we go so i'm just going to take this out and turn it over i'm actually going to take these off so i don't need to have turned it over and let us grab this happy birthday here so it's going to sit on top I haven't decided if I'll do it right the way across or just on the middle one okay so I've got birthday and happy 
and they're almost the same size width and height there we go let's try that and I was going to do polished pink but this is such a weird pink that I don't think I am let's just reposition that back On the slant in the middle. Hmm, I'm not sure. Um, what colour I think I'm going to do it early espresso. I just want a really deep colour to add into it. Um, well, black would chart better, but I don't like using memento black on um, as a general rule. It doesn't stick, sit nicely on this side of ink, and a bit of a early espresso mad person. <laughs> so let's see how this comes out. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. That's worked well. So I've got my three happy birthdays in that rather weird petal pink, and then this happy birthday script on top. Okay, so I think what I would do if I was doing that again is I would change the colour. I think I need to reorder a petal pink ink pad because that's definitely not. It might be petal pink if it was inked off. I suppose I could have scraped that one down as well, couldn't I? Thank you, Karen. Um, glad you like my awesome early espresso. So let's, um, not sure if I need to redo that one. Let me just wipe that down. Let's make the first one at least into a card. There we go. So here's my set of three in navy blue, real red and black. Just going to trim this down and then find um, a coloured layer behind and then a note card if it will fit. I've had the fun this afternoon creating the designs for our class in the box this month so right let's have a look and see so I'm just going to trim that close in there I know that this needs to be four and a half so I could have could have left it a little bit but let's make it even all the way around and then this needs to be about three. Reminds me of um, that typeface, reminds me of a newspaper typeface. Oh, it's going to be pretty close. <laughs> there we go. find some card go for red yeah so it make a nice um, man's card I think what I'm going to do is Let's have a look. This is my note card that I want to put it on to. Just going to fold that over. 
I haven't got my bone folder because it's all packed ready for coffee and card tomorrow. Okay, let's see if this is going to fit. Yep, it will. So what I'm going to do is have the sides slightly wider. So I'm going to place it on the red and then cut the red down. Let's see how we get on with that. So what weather have you got, Karen, today? I know you said the other day it was going colder for you. I think it was you who said it was going colder. So I'm just going to take a sliver off here. a close sliver wasn't it and then so I should have got the same roughly on either side anybody else think that looks like a newspaper print <laughs> there we go so that can sit on the front of our card. Now what you could do is take another stamped happy birthday and lift that up and put it on um, dimensionals. Oh, excellent, getting better, that's what we like to hear. So let's pop that on there and I think I might do that. Um, stamp another one in um, real red and lift it up to make a feature of it so let's put this flat down if I can get some glue out <laughs> let's try another one oh, this feels better you can tell when it's really warm here because the glue comes out very quickly Okay, so I'm just going to pop this on the note card. Obviously, you could put this onto a bigger card and envelope if you wished. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I've got that happy birthday there, but I'm just going to get another scrap and stamp. Could cut that, fussy cut that. But I'm not going to. Just grab another piece of card to stamp my real red again and then fussy cut that. Decided. Ooh. Hi, Christine. Somebody came around for a cuppa. How very nice. But it's always good. Right, just I've um, been using up all my offcuts of white so much so that I've hardly got any offcuts of white left anymore. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here. Put my magnets either side. Grab my happy birthday. I'm just going to manually line those up, but it's quite useful. To, you could use the grid as well. Hopefully, got those fairly straight. Time will tell, won't it? <laughs> If I'd left those on, I would have known that this would have been the right spacing, but hey ho, not to worry. Oops. Let's turn that over. Because I'm going to cut this one out anyway. 
So let's do the real red again. And I am going to move this ink down again to and just use that top bit. Let's move that out of the way. Time out, yes. That's I was saying it was like a newspaper, but you're right, time out. Oh got a little bit carried away. Oh carried away. Not once but twice. Let's just wipe this off. Dear dear. Can I blame it on the weather, do you think? Okay, so just popping that down on there. Set. That's better. Just going to give that a minute to dry. Wipe this off. I'm just going to cut that out and then mount it on top. You could obviously stamp in two different colours and have, you know, different colours of happy birthday. But I'm just going to cut that out and mount it on top just to give it a little bit more interest. Oh, time out, yes, London. It was. Okay, just make sure that's as good as dried. And then. smaller than that wouldn't it it's better and do the same on here got my wrong glasses on let's try that oh that was pretty close and can go there so close isn't it actually I'm going to have to trim off a little bit more I could do happy in one colour and birthday in another but I think what I'm going to have to do is just trim that yet again but I might do let's use my guillotine let us see if that works Gosh, it's just the tiniest amount, isn't it? <laughs> OK. 
Yeah, mom. This seemed like such a good idea at the time. <laughs> Doesn't it? Right. Okay. So that's going to go up there. And just trim a little bit off the edge. And we're done. Oof. So some dimensionals. All that. I've got lots of edges here, so I'm going to use those. Well, I hope it was worth it in the end. <laughs> there we go. So it's going to sit on top of there. So just something a little bit different. I think I'll redo this one. I like this one. I don't like the petal pink. So I'm going to redo that with some other colours. So I'll happily do it now if you want to watch or I can just do that when I've finished. Whichever you prefer. There we go. So there's that one. With a bit of the, you can't really see that. That looks almost in the right place, doesn't it? There's a little bit um, of an edge there, but it is on dimensionals. Um, so, do you want to watch while I redo this one? Oh, and the other thing you can do, of course, is um, pop this onto the envelope. So, I've still got it on here. So, hi Valerie. I hope you're well. Nice of you to join us today. We're just having a bit of fun with the Stamparatus. Let's go to lift this up a little bit. Just want to catch the edge of that and move it along. Okie dokie, Christine. Thank you for popping in, though. Yep, that will work. Just going to move this down and out of the way. This one down. There we go. Um, so let's use Knight of Navy for this one, just for something different. So just pop that underneath. So I've got my happy birthday here. So just inking this up. Knight of Navy looks good. And then I've got this on the flap of the envelope. There we are. 
can't really miss that on the back of the envelope, can you? <laughs> you could put it on the front as well, of course, but I'm quite happy with that on the back. That is rather huge, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Let's wipe this one down. There we go. So I think that will do for today. Um, as I said, I would redo... So there's my happy birthday one there. I'm going to redo this one. Um, with something other than that rather ghastly looking petal pink um, so I might do it with Daffodil Delight and Early Espresso I think would look nice so that is my plan uh, Misty Moonlight and Just It yeah that would work too yes I think any combination uh, just not the combination that I've chosen today. <laughs> hey ho! Um, so there we go. So stamping with the Stamparatus, some step or um, hinge stamping. Position it at the top position and then work your way down. Okay, and then I've added that to the envelope. Thank you, Valerie. Uh, as I say, this one worked as well. And in fact, you could do the happy birthday on all three. Um, I've got that on one side of the plate and the capitals on the other. And you could knock out a whole load of um, birthday cards or birthday invitations. They would be really good for an invite, wouldn't they? So there we go. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so I won't be back tomorrow for... Um, there is a lot you can do with it Carol you're quite right I won't be back tomorrow for um, our Facebook live crafting but what I might do is pop on and show you the card ideas for our June class in a box <laughs> thank you Christine um, so I might pop on and do that. I'm not quite sure what time. I'm at Coffin Card in the afternoon. So if I do pop on, it will be around 7. But I'll pop a message on to let you know. Okay. Um, and obviously I've used Happy Birthday. But you could use Hello Friend, um, Thanks Friend, any combination of those letters. It's a really nice um, stamp set. Biggest Wish, it's called. Okay, so thanks very much for joining me today. Um, I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, day, depending on what time you're watching this and whether you're watching on um, live or replay. So thanks for joining me. Uh, take care, look after yourselves and your loved ones. Um, I'll be back very soon. As I say, you should see me hopefully tomorrow. Um, just to demonstrate the cards that we'll be making for this month's class in a box thank you Lynn thanks Karen, Christine, Babsy, uh, Valerie uh, who else may still be here Katie, thanks Katie and Carol oh and Jane, if Jane's still here so thank you ladies for joining me and I look forward to catching up with you really soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.